Okay, so you got free iPhone ringtones. So that's pretty rad, right? All right, just as I promised, uh, we're gonna move into Magic Garage Band, and that's this section right here. Click on that. Um, over in here, we can um, pretty much Garage Band gives gives like a like a watered down version of the entire program. So if you're in, if you think GarageBand is just like a little bit too tough for you, um, especially if you've gone through all of my interface videos of GarageBand, you can definitely check out Magic GarageBand first, and it can kind of jumpstart you into the whole recording mixing process, and it really really breaks it and simplifies the whole audio process and let's just take a quick overview look at it and then we'll kind of dissect it a little bit okay so over in here um as you can see it's kind of labeled or dissected by genres so we have blues we have rock we have jazz country reggae funk latin rock and show blues now we have to choose a genre that's a part of our spice or, or whatever we're feeling in the moment. And you can actually preview these songs by this, this button right here. You hit the play button on each one of these little discography um, icon thingies. And I'm going to go with funk because, I don't know, I'm usually a rocker dude, but I like how funk is kind of... I think if like rock and jazz had a baby they would make funk but that's just my opinion anyway uh, let's go ahead and hit the preview button and it just automatically plays so we can you can check that out and we're like okay you know what i want to jam out and record to that song you can just hit stop so once you have like your your genre selected you just hit choose and we'll wait for garage band open up and this is our Magic Garage Band session. There's no real like tracks involved. This is it. We have just a stage of our instruments. That's what Magic Garage Band does. It breaks everything down into giant icons, um, such as our instrument. Um, so to say, it's a piano. I mean, you can pretty much plug in whatever you want you want to plug in a guitar piano bass doesn't matter you can always change the icon but uh this is the basic layout now if we dive right into the bottom right here it's just a really basic almost like the uh the lessons such as in guitar and piano it's a similar format for the timeline just really basic in it breaks down each section of the song like intro verse bridge verse two and ending and for our transport section it's just just a couple options really just a giant record button giant play button and a master track button which i'm gonna lower down just because i'm gonna play the song pretty soon and i don't want to be too loud like we did in the last video ah! anyway okay Let's just play the song so we can hear the funk track for a little bit, okay? Okay. Now let's just say you can't, you don't really like the mix and you want to stay on tempo, so you want to hear the drums more. All you have to do is hover over the drums literally click on the drums go to the top click on the down arrow and boom you you have a couple options here you can solo out the drums you can mute the drums and you can raise up the volume for the drums this goes along with every single one of these instruments on stage here so you can mix right on stage and once we have tracked something within our instrument, let's say we jammed out with the rest of the band and we made our own little part after we hit the record button, all you have to do if you want to jump it up and really start using real GarageBand, you just hit open in GarageBand. 
It's loading up. And there it is. It's just the regular GarageBand session with all of our tracks. It already makes all of our tracks. It, it icons all of our tracks. It labels all of our tracks. And we have our audio regions here. And we're good to go. Brief overview of Magic GarageBand.